Solidarity starts with reality. For me, radical solidarity, or maybe any solidarity, is a responsible reality check first, in the context, in the moment. This needs humility, recognizing the limits of my knowledge, valuing her suppressed, discredited knowledge, listening, spreading her knowledge further then, and meanwhile suspending my action to clarify her needs, making sure I do no harm. My context, I live, write, and pay taxes in the Jewish hegemony of Israel, a settler state that has racialized and dispossessed Palestinians, denied them fundamental rights. The balance of power is hugely asymmetrical. There is no symmetry. My positioning implicates me in this violence. Your context, European and German history and current policies implicate you too in this violence. In the moment, Israel has been bombing a prison, indiscriminately killing hundreds and maiming thousands of the two million people under its blockade in Gaza. In the moment, Israel's government is condoning attacks on Palestinian neighborhoods inside Israel by armed right-wing Jewish cells in Yaffa, Haifa, Lid. Police allow attackers free access, avoid intervening, impose local martial regimes and mass arrests on Palestinians. Solidarity is doing what I'm able to meet her needs. But no less than that, it draws on my privilege to obstruct violence committed by my community. So I work with a group supporting young people who avoid taking part in the violence and reject military service. We give them vital information and counseling. Rising numbers of youth who don't serve contest Israel's war policy. I work with a different group to reduce the hardware of violence. We campaign for less guns in civil space, in homes and streets. Removing guns stems some violence and undoes militarized concepts of security. My solidarity acts to trouble the machinery of Israel's violence.